Hey everyone, Josh Galvin with Tizich.com. On this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can make YouTube videos start at a specific time point. Meaning, let's say you have a 10 minute video, and then you, uh, let's say the video was really long, because 10 minute videos are pretty long for the average user. I mean, really long actually. But let's say it has a lot of valuable content that you want to market, but you want to market maybe a specific two minute point. Let's say the five minute mark to the seven minute minute mark is what you want to be marketing. Well, if that's the case, then here's how you make a YouTube video start at let's say the five minute mark of a 10 minute video. I'm going to show you using one of the videos I've done because I do very long videos because I do them for training. So obviously I don't really care about a two minute marketing video. These are training ones. So I'm going to show you on a video I did where these, it is a nine minute video where I'm going to show you how how to make it how to make a link start to, to a specific minute point and how to make an embed code start to a specific minute point. So here's the page and let's just get to the point. I'll show you the demo first and then I'll show you the actual how to meaning what code do you have to use on your YouTube videos to make this happen. So the first one, here's the here's a regular example. You know, you have your regular YouTube link. So when I click on it, what happens? It's going to open up the video and here's one of the videos I've done and there it goes it just starts at the regular mark right that's basic usage we understand that one now let's say you want the video the same exact video you want it to start at the five minute mark well this is one that has a timestamp set up so when I click on this link instead of starting at zero seconds like notice how it starts at the five minute mark automatically the links. so that's I'll show you that in a second and now you could do so basically what you just now saw is how you can do that with direct links this will be good if you're emailing Maybe a, you're emailing a long video or maybe you did a, a blog post or you did a, an email where you want just, instead of them watching a whole three minute video or maybe four minute video, you tell them, watch this quick 20 second clip and you can make it start right at the point you want. This is why it's powerful. Now you could do the same thing with embed code. You see here, we have a regular embed code. It starts at the zero minute hey mark. Everyone, Josh. And then here we have our next one. And this Plus, one will start at the five minute mark. So you could do the same thing with any codes, all right? So here's how you do it. So I believe you understand now how this works. All right, so now let's go over, here's the actual how-to of how to, how to do it. And it's the following codes. Here I'm in the admin panel. Now, here's what you have to do. All right, you have one basic text code, all right? Let's just make it simple and take the proper codes out. All right, so here's the example so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this example that we have here with the timestamp and now I'm gonna apply this same stuff to the ones without it so that way it's easier so here's all you have to do alright with with this YouTube code when we're talking about the link alright here's a regular YouTube link let's just make this one simple right here so you see how this is your typical YouTube link right it shows up just like this this is the stuff that shows up in your browser now compare that this is the one that didn't have the timestamp compare that to the one that I did have the timestamp and you'll notice this extra character at the end it has it starts at the pound sign pound T equals 5 M 0 S this is the code for the link meaning See this link here? See how it has pound T equals five minutes, zero, zero, or S, five M, not five minutes. Well, basically that's what it stands for. Meaning you're gonna tell YouTube this code, five min and zero seconds to start at that point. So plain and simple. So let's say you're gonna take this exact code, all right, here, and you're gonna go to the end of your YouTube video and paste it. All right, now here's the next part you need to do. I'm having to start at the 5M, meaning five minute mark. But let's just say I want this to start at the one minute mark, and then instead of zero, zero seconds, we do 30 seconds. You can do that as well, all right? So I'm gonna show you that after I hit update, just to show you how it'll start at the one minute, 30 second mark. Now let's say for the embed codes, how do you make an embed code? Here's your typical embed code. How do you make your embed code start at a five minute mark? So here was the embed code, and it started at the five minutes instead of the regular zero minutes. Well, how do you do that? Here's exactly how. On your embed code, you'll notice, find the part where it says the following. Param name equals movie, and then right where it says value equals. It's going to give you this long code, and it's going to look like this, all right? And it's going to be in two places. This is the first place, and notice the second one after embed source, it gives you the second place where it exists, right here. 
So basically, here's what you need to add on. Notice the difference between the following. The, the source, the value of this code has an extra embed of add and start equals. So what we got to do is add the following. And this one works in seconds. I'll show you what I mean exactly right now. So let's find the first value. Here it is with the YouTube URL. Let's go to the end of it. So here's the end of it. And what you need to do is type the following. And start equals. And here's the thing. This one is only in seconds. So you have to just multiply whatever minute mark you're at to the second point. So if I want to start at 5 minutes, I did 300 seconds. Because 60 seconds times 5 minutes equals 300 seconds, obviously. So let's say if we want this one to start at the 1 minute and 30 second mark. Instead of making a link like we saw here, we want this to start at 1 minute 30 seconds. So that's 90 seconds, right? So what we do is replace this. We just type in 90. So now we have to take our exact same and start equals 90 code and go to the second in, uh, URL. So it's right here a little bit down the code, embed source equals, and we have here all the way to the end. And now so that we're at the end before the quotation, we now add the extra and start equals in seconds. All right. So now when I hit update, let's just see how it looks in action. And I'm going to hit refresh on this page so we could it'll redo this and we'll see how now these two that were regular will now be the actual starting points of 1 minute and 30 seconds each like we had just set up right now. All right, so here we go. So now when I click on this link, watch how it's going to start at the 1 minute and 30 second mark. The next one is called There it goes. Oh, I just accidentally hit pause, but you get the point. It starts at the one it started at the proper marking point instead of 0 seconds. All right? Now Let's go to the next one. Yeah, see, there yeah, it goes. One happens. minute, 30 seconds. This see, just like normal. All right, now let's go to the actual embed code. Here was, remember the first time on this video, it didn't do anything. Well, now when I click play, it'll, it'll start at one minute, 30 seconds. Well, here's what happens. And there it goes. This tool so has... that's how you do this. Here's the key difference, just as a reminder. For links, meaning direct links, you have to use the following code, starting with the pound. Pound t equals, and then whatever minute mark, whether it be zero minutes and and 45 seconds, or whatever, or maybe one minute and 30 seconds. But you have to make it look exactly like this, and it has to be at the end of the code. And in your URL and login and in whatever thing, if you're gonna do it in the embed code or anything, make sure you don't touch any quotation marks on any links, or else it'll break the links. Now, for the, uh, for the embed codes, you have to add the following parameters, and start equals 90, or whatever second count, meaning it's not 1M30S, it's just going to be seconds, all right? So the seconds apply to only the embed code, the minute mark and the seconds apply to only links. So that's everything on how to do this, all right? Well, basically, subscribe to us on Tizish, like, like this video when you see it on Facebook and just share it with many people as you can. I hopefully, hopefully you can think of a good way to use this with your marketing. I feel that email and blogging is the best way when it's a precise message maybe from other people's videos. Because remember, you can do this with any YouTube videos, not just your own. Alright, well that's everything. Like this on Facebook and subscribe to our blog. Take care.